Hey love bugs, it's Riles, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, much love to you. And to my returning subs, my extended family, thank you so much for the kind words, sending me good blessings and healing vibes on when I was feeling sick. I'm so grateful for that. Y'all really know how to pull on a girl's heartstrings because y'all had me all emotional. So I'm so grateful for the fact that, you know, you sent love to me. So for that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'll love the chance to get to know you the way you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback or you just telling me about your, you know, your story and your journey of being an empath or being a Hayoka or even a twin flame is all welcome as long as it's positive. As <laughs> long as it's positive. And if you feel like my video has just put a move on you, put you on a good foot, or even give you a good vibe to help you lift up your spirits for the day, go ahead and spread the word. Like and put the thumbs up and even give it a share. It's all greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. And the music that I'm listening to, the meditation link, it is uh, open third eye, cleansing chakra, sleep music, cleanse, balance, penal gland, open brow chakra, 963 hertz. And I will post that link in the description box below. Y'all, I missed y'all. And today the video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's dealing with the psychic flu and the signs to know that you have the psychic flu. I mean, it is, I mean, I'm, before I even get into this, you know, I miss y'all. I really miss y'all. It seems weird not having videos that came out for like almost two days. And I mean, those were the longest two days. But a sister had to get some rest. I'm sorry. A sister had to get some rest. I can't, you know, vi do videos with a cloud judgment. You know, not knowing, you know, I mean, head stuffy. It just felt like everything was about to explode. I mean, there's some times where you might think you're coming down with the flu. I mean, I was waking up sweat dripping in sweat then I get cold and then I get hot then I feel nauseous and then I feel dizzy and then lightheaded you know seem kind of out of it you know I was taking antihistamines even though they had me kind of gone because the last time I talked to y'all I mean I had to wait until I came down you know Leslie it called me she's like uh-uh girl uh-uh <laughs> You go to sleep, get you some rest. And just speaking of Leslie, please keep her family in her prayers. Um, her mother-in-law passed away last night. And Miss Gloria, you know, good blessings to you up in heaven. Um, I leave my prayers and love to Leslie's family um, and around. If y'all can just keep them up in an uplift. You know, I know they're really going through a tough time right now. And I understand what it is to lose a mom. So, you know, that being said, you know, please keep her family in your prayers. But, um, yeah, I was really just going through it. I mean, it, but it's just that psychic flu had really opened my eyes to a lot of things. Um, I've been detoxing myself. There was things that I had to, you know, I'm shedding faucets. You know, even though there have been days where I would crave marijuana because of the things that I was going through. And it just so happened yesterday, I was watching, um, YouTube videos and um, they had a table talk uh, with Jada Pinkett, August Alcina, and Jada Pinkett's mom and they were talking about addictions and stuff like that and I never knew that Jada Pinkett's mom was um, suffering from addiction of heroin for over 20, almost close to 20 years she said, but it took, um, it really broke her heart because she didn't stop doing it for her she did it for a man because she felt like you know there was nothing I, I, she said she didn't feel like anything without a man so it broke her heart that she gave up the addiction and all these things um, because it, it's just like any empath or whatever and I can tell her mom was somewhat of an empath also I can really feel that because I mean I was in tears when she was in tears because she couldn't even get the words out but I knew what she was coming I knew where she was coming from it was coming from a good place 
And I felt that way. And it's just like when you're going through things, things will fall in your lap that you really connect with and it really will hit home. And I mean, I've just been so emotional and it was for a good thing. I mean, it wasn't sad or whatever, but it's just like, you know, people that are close to me know that I was really going through a hard time. And it was just like things felt like it wasn't getting any better, even though around me, the signs, I would see it. But inside, for me, trying to help people heal, trying to take away their pain, I was consuming everything and did not know how to do that. And it was just like, you know what, you need to take back, press pause, check all emergency exits and go sit down. So that's what you have to do. When you're going through these things, you'll get the headaches, you'll get the nausea, you might feel dizzy, you might have a tension of vertigo a little bit, you know, you might be out of place or whatever, hot, cold chills, you know, just out of it, having intense dreams. And it's just so many different signs you that's telling you, you know what, you need to relax. You know, you're trying to take care of everybody else, but who's going to take care of you? You know, I always tell people that you always got to take care of yourself, but I wasn't taking my own advice. So I had to do that for myself. Even though I missed y'all like to, to pieces, I had to make sure myself was totally healed before I can come back and start doing videos because it's just like, to me, I'll be feeling like a hypocrite, you know, telling people to let go of things and, you know, deal with things in a different light and look at things in a positive perspective when I wasn't doing the things for myself, even though I was looking at certain things that way, but it was just the things that, that was really you know, hard to come to really good terms with when it comes to my mom and my dad. That was really hard to deal with. But now, since I'm healing and I'm letting go of things, now it's like I can cry. And it's tears of joy. And knowing things are getting better. You know, even though they might not be clear, is getting better because now it's just like with me not craving marijuana and all that stuff because it's like when you deal with marijuana or deal with any kind of addiction it's an escape you know at first I couldn't admit that I was an addict but I was an addict even though I, you know when you hear about addicts you think about crackheads meth heads or whatever they want to you know the bad things that they want to coast on people when they take different kind of drugs but it's just actually an addict anything that you have to use to cope with or uh, to ease things with. You know, I had to learn how to basically take those things away and learn how to meditate, you know, dance, draw, make videos, you know, other ways to deal with my problems, you know, dealing with the ego trip, you know, the little voices in your head trying to tell you things that, oh, things are not going to come right for you, you know, people are going to look at you wrong or, you know, people are going to have all these bad things to say, but I can't listen to that ego thing anymore. You know, I, I couldn't, you know, even though it was a touch and go, I would be on the fifth dimension and then knock back down to the third, then up to the fourth and then go back to the fifth dimension and go back. And I'm just like, you can't be doing all this. You got to, you know, you got to chill. You got to relax. You know, patience is a virtue. Even though you want things right now, God's going to come on time. What's for you will be for you and nobody else. Nobody can't take that away. You know, even though there's things that'll keep popping up in your life, and that could be the devil talking about, you know what, you need to give up. Ain't nothing going to come out for you. You're going to be thinking about this stuff forever. You know, go ahead, do what you want to do. Smoke weed, smoke cigarettes, you know, drink as much liquor as you want. But that's not, I'm like, wait a minute, you know, go on about your business. You know, I had to knock that devil off my shoulder and keep on going because I'm not going to listen to that. And neither should you. So if you're going through these psychic flu just know you know sit down meditate relax take some medicine if you need to you know like antihistamines or cough and cold or something like that even though it might not be it but it's just basically telling your body you need to cleanse yourself you need to de detox things you need to let go of things you need to sit there and reflect and see the things that you need to change or you need to uplift or you need to just leave alone but pay attention to the signs. You know when your body is telling you, you need to go ahead and sit down and relax and take care of yourself. So I hope you are able to resonate with this video. I missed y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I mean, thank you so much for even when I wasn't, you know, vlogging, y'all still popped by and just showed me love. And that is so gratefully appreciated. And from the bottom of my heart, I love y'all more. It just, oh God, I'm not going to cry. I promise y'all ain't going to cry. But like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell 
stay blessed. You are definitely loved. And know that better days are coming if you're going through things. And if you know blessings are outpouring for you, know that there is more blessings that's coming your way that you did not even expect. So spread the love. Spread positivity. Just send out good vibes as much as possible. Hit me a line. I'll love to hear from you. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.